Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lucy Power Perspective. I'm Lucy Power, Australia's number one fitness model escort, award-winning content creator, porn star, and naked news reporter. Today's episode is going to be a little recount of a swinging party that my partner and I attended quite a few months ago now. Um, I didn't tell you guys about it straight away because I've just been very busy doing other things in my life, but it is a good story. So I think you'd really appreciate hearing about it. So it was called the white party and everyone had to dress in white. And it was an invite to a private event. They had hired out a swinging bar for a certain number of people. It, I think by the end of the night, there would have been close to a hundred people there, if not maybe maybe a little bit less. So we went to this venue called Studio 22. Hadn't been there before. We turned up and the owners of the venue showed us around and explained all the rules to us. And the rules are pretty standard when it comes to most venues. They can change a little bit in terms of, you know, what you're allowed to do in certain rooms. The same rule sort of applies in terms of if the door's closed, you can't go in. If there's a chain across an open door, you can't go in, but you're allowed to watch, that sort of thing. The difference between now and pre-COVID was that if you go into a room with a group of people or even just as a couple and you play, if you leave that room, you have to let the owners know or the managers know, and then they will come in and close it off and they strip everything and they give it a really good clean down so that the next people have, you know, a clean space to play in, which I think is, is pretty good. And what we did was uh, upstairs, there was like a main bar area with a pool table and a dance floor. And there were so many people up there chatting and there was very attractive people there, very sexy group of people. There were a few people that we ran into that we had played with at a, another swingers party in the past. We always like to play with new people if we can but I'm never against playing with other people because then you know what to expect that you've seen before. We actually turned up with two girls. So we brought Ara Arwen with us and then she called a friend who met us out the front and she was another um, young lady that we hadn't met before, but she was very attractive. And we turned up and we were having a drink in the bar, um, but everyone, they were people were flirtatious but I couldn't really see anyone crossing that line into the next step, which is let's go play in a bedroom. And we wanted to do it because we're early people. As you know, if anyone's watched any of my other swingers stories, I usually like to be out of a place by midnight because I like to do things the next day. So it was my partner and I, Ara and another girl. And we're like, let's just go to that front bedroom that we'd seen before. It had two beds on it, two couches. So it was a decent size as well. And so the four of us just went off to the bedroom and started playing. And I always start by kissing my boyfriend and getting intimate with him. And the other girls were just sort of sitting on the bed watching. And other couples came in and then they were on the bed beside us. And I was playing with my, my partner and Ara. And we hadn't been with Ara before. And uh, I think we maybe had shot content with her, but we wanted to actually have fun fun with her. So we started doing that. And then we could see her girlfriend was on the bed with another couple next to us. And that was pretty erotic. And so we're in a situation where I think we mixed up the, the positions all the time. So there would have been a time where my boyfriend was doing me doggy and then I would have been Ara. And then he would have been having with her and then I would have been sitting on her. So we change up all the positions all the time. And, and there was one moment I remember looking over at the bed beside us and getting very turned on by watching the couple and the new girl that I hadn't met before and desperately wanting to go over there, but not wanting to just abandon the people I was with. And in that situation where I'm having with these people, but also watching another couple, it crossed my mind whether or not that was appropriate to do. Because when I'm being intimate with people, I really like to focus all of my attention on them. I, I think it's not rude, but I feel like I'm not really in the moment if I'm not doing that. So I brought my attention back to my partner and the other, and Ara, and was just focusing on that. But I just kept in my mind that I really wanted to play with quite a few other people. And uh, yeah, a couple, and then we might have a break because you're being really energetic and having a lot of 
and you're like, okay, I just need to rest for a bit and I want to watch. And then I might have another couple come up and they're like, can my husband play with you? I've been, you're gorgeous and I'd like to watch him with you. And then there's, and then you'll notice other men or women walking around and you make a mental note of who you might want to play with. And I did see a man, he was an older man, probably at least 55, but he had a really good package. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I had every intention of sitting on that and I did. And uh, it was, it felt great. And I, and I just go to town on it. So I end up, I had sex with that man probably like a couple of hours into the night. And I just, he was laying down and I rode him. And, and I turned around and my boyfriend was sitting on the couch getting from Ara. And then the other girl who met us at the front was straddling his face, like standing on the back of the couch and straddling his face. And that just did things to me. I just went hard, I went to town on that guy. And I love it. Like I really love watching my partner have with other people. It's very erotic for me. And so we, after like a few rounds of playing with a couple of different people, there are times when I literally have a woman slide under me and like, I just wanna eat you can I? And I'll be like, how could I just say no? Because there's such a big difference between a woman's mouth and a man's mouth. And so I did that and I was like riding a girl's face for a while and getting a little bit dominant, which I liked. And I think she liked. It was very delicious. And I and I was like, okay, I really need a break now. So we put our clothes back on and we went to the bar and we're sitting down, having a drink, thinking that you know would that's probably enough because we had played with quite a few people in that one room and it was it was just absolutely hot <laughs> so hot and my partner when he is about to while he's another girl i just love it so much i just find it so erotic so that had already happened and we're like you know it's pretty good we had a great night and and we were just going to call it a night but what we had forgotten is that when we were doing a tour of the venue, there was a room, one room that had a swing in it and we hadn't actually used a swing before. I'd played around in one, but I hadn't actually had in one. But by this stage, I was, I was sore, like I'd had with quite a few people. So I just said, I was talking to my boyfriend, why don't you her on the sex swing while I watch? I'd love to just watch it. And we took a little bit of footage as well. So I have some of this on my OnlyFans and, um, it was hot and then I got so turned on after watching him two different girls and swing. I was like, okay, no, I just have to, you have to me now and you have to finish. <laughs> I think we ended up giving him and then he finished on our faces, which was just as hot. Another, another room in this house, it was like two stories. And then downstairs there was like a little dungeon BDSM room where you can, um, you can take your own equipment as well. Like if you've got crops and whips and whatever, you can take all your own stuff or use what they've got there. And we're watching a guy spank a girl and uh, it was hard and everyone was like, you know, but that's the thing about BDSM is some people just really love it and really need it and can take it. And um, so it was nice watching. A few people recognized me as Lucy Power from the party. There was someone doing candle wax play, which I personally love and I've not had enough of it. I love hot candle wax. It, turns me on like just the thought of it right now is turning me on <laughs> watched a bit of that and just sort of like walked around there was a spa I never really get in a spa when I'm at a, a swingers party like I'd get in a spa if I if it was a private party of a friend but not somewhere like that where you just don't know their cleaning routine yeah so anyway that was separate so we actually went to play on the swing after we had gone down to that BDSM room to have a look and uh, the swing was pretty hot. So if you want to see some of that footage, you have to join my OnlyFans. And then my partner and I, we were done. Like we'd had so much fun and I was exhausted. And so we decided to leave. But the two girls we came with stayed because they saw another couple and another guy that they wanted to f And they're like, we're going to stay because we're going to f this guy all night long. <laughs> and I thought that was great. It was so good. Yeah, so that was the white party, the swingers party. A lot of people, some outside, you know, some down in the dungeon doing some BDSM and candle wax. And then in the bedrooms, people actually having and being able to watch it. Very, very, very good. Were there any weird situations? Yeah, there was one girl, a couple, younger couple, 
she um, looked like a bit of a hippie, but she was a bit weird and she may have been on drugs. You can usually tell by someone's behavior if they've had too much alcohol or if they've consumed some form of drug because she was um, a bit skittish all over the place and, and also um, going over the top with consent. Now, consent is really important, but she was sort of like just taking it too far to the point where it would just turn you off and you just didn't really want to play. Um, I think she was exposing her boyfriend to it for the first time as well. So she really wanted to make sure that he knew exactly what to do. But she was explaining consent to her boyfriend and sort of introducing him to other couples. She was also pushing the boundary a little bit in terms of wanting to hook up with people and just assume that everyone wanted to be with everyone. So it can be really tricky navigating a swinging party and situation. That's why I always recommend going with someone that you know and that you trust if you if you sort of don't have the confidence to approach people. I still get really nervous when it comes to approaching people. I'm lucky now that I don't need to approach a lot of people. They will come up to me and ask and that, that takes that fear away from me. But I sort of like that too, I think, because in my job, in my career, in my life, I'm quite dominant and have control of everything. So being able to sit back and relax and have people take over and uh, approach me is, is nice. What One thing I really like about going to swingers parties with my boyfriend is it's like, it has this extended effect on our libido as a couple because you have the memory. You have the memory of them having with other people or them watching you be with other people. And so you can bring that to mind, like you use it as a fantasy while you're continuing to have for weeks after, I love it. It's very delicious, I think, <laughs> neurotic. I'm grateful to be with someone who's willing to explore that sort of thing with me. So this is a nice quick session about the white party, the white swingers party, and I hope you enjoyed the story. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I will try to answer them the best that I can. I hope you have a glorious day. My name's Lucy Power. This is the Lucy Power Perspective. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch all of my other things. Let's increase my watched hours so I can start monetizing and um, I can keep attending these events for you. Bye for now.